Dodging and burning is probably one of my favorite parts of retouching. And today I am gonna show you several different ways how you can dodge and burn. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. It's about to get raw. It's about to get real. It's from raw to real with Ryan. All right. So today, before we get started, I want to let you know that today's episode is brought to you by Paul C. Buff. Paul C. Buff Inc. provides professional studio strobes, modifiers, and more. They're right here in Nashville, Tennessee, been established since 1980. They are awesome. I love them to death. So if you are looking for great, professional, and affordable, and reliable photography gear, guys, make sure that you check out Paul C. Buff. On with the show. All right, here we are in Photoshop. Uh, here's an image of an artist I worked with uh, a while back. Uh, I'm gonna use this as our example for dodging and burning. Uh, quick definition of dodging and burning. Um, it's an old, traditional uh, darkroom technique, uh, but to spare you all those details, it's basically uh, where we're gonna darken the shadows of an image, brighten some of the highlights of the image, uh, and basically make our image look a little bit more three-dimensional. So one of the four ways that I'm going to show you how to do this is uh, the first way, which is the way that I use the most often because I believe it has the most control. Uh, it's with curved layers. And so I'm going to create two curved layers real quick. All right. So for this top one that I have selected, uh, I'm just going to drag the midtones down just like this. That's going to be our burn layer. You can just put B for short and control I hides that with a black mask. I'm gonna go down to my uh, first curves layer. I'm gonna drag the midtones up right about there and I'm gonna call it D for dodge. Control I hides the mask and basically what we're gonna do is gonna be real simple. We're just going to click on uh, the black mask of the burn layer. I'm gonna bring up my brush and I'm just gonna bring my flow down to say 10%. I've got my pressure sensitivity, pre, I, I can't speak. I've got my pressure sensitivity button clicked down. Uh, and basically I'm just gonna go over some of the shadows of this image to uh, kind of give this image some shape and definition. So make sure that your white brush is selected there. There we go. And it's relatively simple. You don't wanna overdo it. It's easy to overdo it but you know, just kind of hitting some of these areas here. It's almost like applying digital makeup a little bit right alongside the nose. And I'm just controlling the size of my brush with the left and right bracket keys to kind of get in some of these areas, really kind of going around the lips here. They're gonna look real full in a moment once we do the, uh, the dodging to them. Uh, and this is just a real, relatively quick way uh, to burn your image. So if I hold down my alt key and click on the mask, you can kind of see what we've done there. You see my little you know, face that I've made here. <laughs> um, and we could go into more detail, you know, if we really wanted to go into it uh, and get the iris, get the outside of the iris, you know, get into the eyes, make these eyes have a little bit more definition, a little bit depth to them. You know, we can do that as well. And then we can click over to our dodge tool and essentially do the same thing, only this time with the highlights. So kind of going over the hair here, going over the cheeks just a little bit. Now this is a form of global dodging and burning. Uh, there is a local dodging and burning where we can actually use it kind of like a form of retouching. Um, uh, essentially we can uh, get rid of some blemishes uh, that way. But uh, I'm mainly going to focus on the global dodging and burning. Uh, and it has many different names. You can call it global dodging and burning. You can call it macro uh, dodging and burning. Uh, micro would be the version where you uh, are uh, getting the tiny details. Um, but see, here's another example of my dodge layer. And if you turn it on and off, little subtle details there. And of course, if you ever feel like you've done it too much to the image, you can always just select your uh, layers and drag down the opacity to where it's a little bit more of a subtle effect. I've got it at 50% there and just adds a little pop to it. So there you go. There's one way. That's the first way with the curves layer. Let me delete that. 
Let's do it the second way, and that's with a 50% gray layer. So I'm going to hit Control Shift N to create my new layer, and we'll just call it uh, DB for short, dodging and burning. Uh, and I'm going to go to Mode, and I'm going to select Overlay, and I'm going to check this little box right here that says Fill with Overlay Neutral Color 50% Gray. Hit OK, and now as you can tell, we have our little gray layer here. 50% gray. Uh, when you set it to overlay, it makes it practically invisible. So there's one of two ways you can do this. You can either do this with the dodge and burn tool or a black and white brush. So let me just show you real quick. Over here on the toolbar, you've got the dodge and burn tool. So let's just go to burn. And this one's actually pretty cool because it allows you to do uh, dodging and burning, but you can actually do it a lot faster uh, this way. Um, the difference is that you've, you're only doing it on one layer versus two layers. Uh, so you, um, you know, if you mess up, you basically have to paint 50% gray over where you messed up and start over. Uh, but I'm going to put the range on midtones. I'll keep the exposure at 10% there. Uh, let me make sure my dodge is the same. Yeah, midtones, 10%. Um, but this is a cool technique because, uh, and I'll show you real quick. If I'm dodging here and dodging up here, but I want to go ahead and do the highlights while I'm at it, I can just hold the Alt key down and it'll automatically switch it over to uh, dodge. So same thing here when I'm going around the cheeks, I can you know, dodge and burn the cheeks here, go alongside the nose like we did before, but then I can hold the Alt key down and start dodging the nose. Um, maybe increase the size of my brush, hold the Alt key down again, start doing the cheeks like we did before, chin. If I get inside here, the lips are then I can burn the outside right in here and then hold the alt key down and go ahead and go straight into the highlights and so that kind of just makes it a little bit quicker uh, a little quicker way to do it um, so if I hold my alt key down click on this little eyeball you can see the little gray layer where we've got the, the burning and then the highlights in the middle the dodging uh, Let's do a little before and after. See, that's before, that's after. So a little subtle change. Again, you ever want to change the opacity because you think you might have done it too much, you can just change the opacity. So that's uh, the two main ways that a lot of people dodge and burn. Uh, the other two ways I want to show you are kind of cheat ways, but uh, they could be a good, useful, quick tool, uh, depending on what you're editing. Uh, one is through Blend If, uh, and it's a really cool technique technique. Um, I want to show it to you real quick. Uh, and you could do this through uh, curves or you could do it through uh, a white layer. There's a lot of different ways you could do it. But let's just create a curves layer and we can drag it up. You can drag it up a pretty good bit if you want to in the midtones. Uh, and then double click. Uh, we'll, might as well go ahead and name it. We'll just name it dodge. There we go. So if we have our dodge layer here, we can double click on it. And these sliders down here we can actually play with. You've got your uh, this layer slider and your underlying layer. We're going to go to the underlying layer and we're going to play with this right here. And this really gives you an idea of the highlights of the image. You can kind of see where it's at right there. Um, and so say this is a good selection here, uh, and it, but we don't want it to look like that. We want it to be blended better. Well, if you hold the Alt key down where this little slider is, it will actually split that in half and then you can take this right side of the slider and take it all the way down and now it fades in real nicely and hit OK and so now you can see like a little before and after like I said it's kind of a cheat way to do it uh, and again you can always play with the opacity a little bit uh, same way with the uh, uh, burning you can bring the midtones down slightly we'll just name that one burn double click on that layer and you can play around now instead of this time instead of the left side we might actually want to go this way yeah kind of work our way from the inside out and maybe get right there on the edge right where the cheeks are and then hold the alt key down split that and kind of slide it out hit OK and you can kind of see a little before and after now that's affecting the entire image so what we could do is uh, hide this white mask, hit control I by making it black, it makes everything disappear. And then with a white brush, just kind of paint in those certain areas that you want the uh, burn effect 
to be applied to. Um, and again, you know, uh, if you're going to take the time to do that, you might as well do it uh, the first two ways that I showed you. But it could just be a relatively quick way, depending on what you're working on. All right, and the final way I want to show you how to quickly dodge and burn an image is, again, uh, another cheat way. It's if you duplicate your layer, um, and you can actually run a high pass filter. So if you go up to filter, go to other, and high pass. And then you can see the image kind of look like this right here. So this is basically all of the detail of the image. So if we had our radius really, really small, it would actually sharpen the image a pretty good bit. But if we raise the radius up a little bit more, you can start to see a little bit more of this dodging and burning type of effect that's going on right now. So I think we're gonna keep it probably around like 150-ish or so and hit okay. And then instead of keeping it like that, we're gonna change the blending mode to either overlay or soft light. I think we're gonna go with soft light. There we go. And you can actually throw a mask on it. So if I hold the Alt key down and click this little button down here, it's gonna throw a black mask on it. And then with a white brush, I can just go in and kind of paint in the areas that I want to be dodged and burned. So I could just lightly paint over this whole face. Again, this is a cheat way to do it. I can see a before and after, just a quick way to dodge and burn. So there you go. You got two ways to officially dodge and burn that a lot of photographers use and two quick cheat ways. So four total. Hope you guys enjoyed that video and be sure to leave a comment and talk to you soon. And today I am going to show you several different ways to teach you. Uh, <laughs> that is a run on sentence. My mom, who is a teacher, would be very ashamed. Dodging and burning is one of my favorite parts. Uh, yeah. I am going to show you several different ways of how you can learn how to dodge and burn. I love dodging and burning. It's one of my favorite parts of retouching and today I am going to show you several different ways how you can dodge and burn. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to hit the notification button so you can stay up to date on all of my latest videos. Be sure to leave a comment on what you'd like to see me work on next. Hope to see you guys next time, and again, thanks for watching.